Hey buddy, it's Victor. It's time to read right here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. Man, oh man, what a run we had yesterday. I'm glad that some people really enjoyed seeing the breaking runs in greed mode every now and then. And of course, those of you who don't, you can still skip ahead to all the breaking process. That's the nice thing and convenience about being on YouTube. You just skip through it and go see the end result. And also, thank you all very much for the support over the weekend. We had another video across 3,000 likes, which now puts us at 17 away from the Sinvicta challenge. And also, so, thank you very much to Ghost from the Twitch and Reddit Mosh Pit for sharing this picture of the day here a couple days ago. Top there was need to find some wall space. We can't wait to hang this beauty. So Ghost actually won this Mew painting uh, from Mirror Bear from the uh, Twitch Mosh Pit Subathon uh, that we had during the birthday stuff. And yeah, congratulations, Ghost. Thanks for sharing it. I also really like all the Star Wars ships and stuff in the background. So let us know. Let's take, a, take an update picture and let us know where you end up hanging it. Okay, see day is going to be Yankee Sierra Papa 6-6, six, six, Charlie Victor Charlie. We've got, uh, well, we've got the Parasite. Terrible shot speed, though. Man, oh, man. We also have no idea how much HP we have, but we have Teleport. Now, Teleport is going to be able to allow us to, tele I mean, well, Teleport. <laughs> you know what Teleport does. Teleport meta is, is alive and well. Um, the thing is, though, is that we need to make sure that we go to the item room first. And with us being on uh, Curse of the Unknown, we have absolutely no clue how much HP we've got to go on. I also want to try to find some red hearts before we use this reverse Hierophant card. It's going to spawn us two bone hearts. So it's it's not a... I mean, our damage is great. Tears is great. Movement speed, excellent. We found the boss already. Um... Everything is good here, except for really, it's just our shot speed. And, uh, you know, we, we talk about this a lot. If that is the biggest complaint that we have about a start of a run, we're probably doing okay. Um, the Parasite's going to give us these sort of the fractal, the, the fractured tiers that you see here splitting apart. I do have, I mean, the thing is, like we saw, I, I fast on, I fast on compound fracture quite a bit. Right, and the same thing goes for a little bit lesser to a lesser degree for uh, Parasite because it only splits in basically two directions instead of just random directions. Then, of course, the ultimate split shot is probably going to be considered to be Cricket's body. Um, it really there, there's a couple of factors that you would ever that you would have to kind of take in before you consider passing on your uh, on your split shots. Namely, being is the fact that like if you have too much shot speed, it can really make things go kind of crazy. Um, but because our shot speed is so bad right now, it's not really going to matter that much. Okay, now I'm going to use teleport. And we get, uh, well, we get, get fat on a mushroom, which it's not going to heal a heart, but it's going to give us another heart. It does kill our movement speed, though, which kind of sucks, but it does give us more damage and range. So it's a it's an okay upgrade for us. I mean, at the very least, it keeps us out of the danger zone because we, again, have no idea how much HP we have. Then we have experimental treatment, which of course we're just going to pass on because it's absolutely trash. Um, move this over here. We should be okay, I think. Yeah. And, well, actually, there's no reason for us to move that barrel because we've already been in the secret room. Uh, ooh. Crack the skizzle. Hmm. Ooh, man, I don't know. I do love me some Crack the Skizzle, but teleport meta, man. Like, Crack the Sky obviously is a boss killer, right? We, we all we all know that. But the thing is, is that teleport can really make you... It can, it can skip you around a lot. And it's unfortunate that we don't have any, um, have any money. I am going to go back... And clear this room to see if maybe we can get a bomb or something so we at least we can get something out of the crack the sky uh pedestal but yeah this is tough shows you just how how entrenched i am in teleport meta right now we end up getting nothing so it didn't matter yeah i'm gonna stick with teleport for right now i just like teleport And Curse of Lost. Wow, we have a ton of HP. All right, so with Curse of Lost, obviously we have no clue where we're going to be going. I'm just going to use Teleport now just to see. I, 
I mean, who knows? Teleporting whenever there's Curse of the Lost is really just kind of like closing your eyes and picking a direction. <laughs> uh, you get a bomb here than Sticky Nickel, of course. There's there's always kind of a little bit of a gamble whenever you're you're teleporting with Curse of the Lost because you don't know if you're backtracking or not. You just kind of have to, I don't know, just guess. I mean, that's that's how it always is with Curse of the Lost anyway. But it's even more so whenever you whenever you've got basically a way to possibly skip the entire level, but also a, possibly a way to just go backwards and then keep going around in a circle over and over and over again, which is not what we want. Luckily, we did find our, at least our item room. We'd love to find another red heart or two to fill up this bone heart that we got from the reverse hero font card. And that's going to be a lot of shots, I got to I gotta admit. Quad shot parasite, that is a lot of extra damage that we can pump out. Um... It is a little bit risky whenever we're talking about split shot and, yeah, so there's the classic backtracking. Um, the split shot with quad shot is a, it's a little bit wonky, but it's not like, it's not the worst thing in the world. I feel that we were going in, we were going in the right direction, I think. Um, we just, we turned around and went back to the start. So, which is exactly what I was talking about when teleporting with uh, Curse the Unknown. I'm honestly fine with us just finding the uh, finding the boss here. I don't really have any any need or care to go to the shop right now. I'm going to use the uh, magician cards to help us out with the not only the range, but of course just the accuracy of all the split shots. You see, they're just going just swarming uh, little Gemini. Little Gemini has no idea what to do, but you do see the jostling that I was talking about with the clown physics. So we get another HP upgrade. Super bandage, man. Oh man. Oh man. We've got an absolute ton of damage now that was a little bit of a misplay there i should have waited uh before i took the uh before i took the uh spirit of the night this, this is more taps that we could have had on this um demon judgment i'm gonna go for one pay out here and yep oh we got a star's card that's fine And Curse of the XL. Okay. This, the game, game really wants us to just kind of speed through this run, huh? No hearts, no red hearts, no nothing of any kind. Since we were going this way and the item room was this way, I have a feeling that maybe the boss is this way too, but... It's impossible for me to really know for sure. Of course, Curse the XL. Definitely my least favorite curse of all. I'll closely behind by Curse the Blind, obviously, but Curse the XL is just, it's so disruptive, yada, yada, yada. Y you all know how bad Curse the XL can be. Get a bomb here. Okay. Go to the other side of the big room, so. And that was a dead end over there. You may have noticed here that we did get uh, activation of Dark Prince's Crown despite us having a Rotten Heart. That's good enough to uh, fulfill the fulfill the, the wants and needs of uh, Dark Prince's Crown, giving us a nice little damage buff. Unfortunately, gone the wrong direction, and for some reason, Teleport is just obsessed with this side of the map. I'm not sure why, but Teleport, we need you to, need you to step it up, son. And we passed on a premium... S grade item for you. See, uh, see, what you're doing right now is you're you're just making us go around in circles. Now I'm not too sure how much time you saved us on that last level, but here's the thing: crack the sky, crack the sky. You can, you can kill, you can kill bosses a lot better than you can. All right, I I, I do love me some teleport meta, but we we got to get going here. We got stuff to do today. Teleport's supposed to be random. Um, not quite sure why it keeps putting us over on the east side of this map. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the XL floor is doing something to its AI. I'm not sure. Who knows? 
another range upgrade here. Definitely want some tiers up. More importantly, get some movement speed up would be very nice. Lots of money here. Since we're over here, I mean, we should go get Dreamcatcher at the very least just to get ourselves extra soul hearts. Um, I am going to go into the mob trap room real fast just to skip on out of here. We do get a damage upgrade. I didn't mean to pick up that red heart, but that's okay. And knowing that uh, teleport was going to take us over here anyway, I figured why not. Let's go pick up uh, Dreamcatcher. I'm going to pass on coupon even though, even though, I got to say, teleport, you're kind of bumming me out a little bit here. You're supposed to be saving us time. All right, not costing us time. A dream catcher is going to show us exactly what boss we're fighting on the next floor. Uh, grant us a half soul heart, and on top of that, also show us the con the contents of the item pedestals uh, in the item room. We we I like this build too much. This build has way too much potential for us to to be rerolling it right now. Quad shot parasite spear of the night. Yeah, we're we're looking we're looking at possibly cooking here. There's our screw and, and uh, our tears and uh, shot speed up. Shot speed still something that we desperately need here. Want some movement speed as well. We do have a full charge on teleport ready to go. Fully expecting to not get a double deal here. And yeah. That's about right. I'm going to go blow my nose real quick. All right. Uh, curse the maze. We still cannot get a curseless floor yet. And, yep. Teleport took us directly into a curse room, which is extremely dangerous. Now, lucky... Luckily for us, it's not going to cost us anything. I mean, it costs us a half heart, obviously, but you know, it's, we're, we, you don't ever want to... Basically, don't ever use teleport if you only have one life, one hit one hit point from death. Uh, because it can, on occasion, take you to curse rooms. And if, I mean, if, if we did, like, if we, if we retained a loss right there, we were dead. There's no way to get out of there for free. At all. So it's brought us back on this side of the map here. Very strange room. This room would definitely suck a whole lot if he didn't have flying. And lots of money here as well. At least our economy is looking very good. And yeah, this is just one big old dead end. So we're still waiting to find any type of special room other than the mob trap room here. Grab this chest, skip that pill. All right, now we're now we're on our way back to the to the right side of stuff here. I think anyway. I mean, with this this Rayquaza looking map here, who freaking knows? Well, we found the boss, and I'm really, really, really hoping we can get a little bit of movement speed here. We're we're pretty much sorted on most of everything right now. We already know that the item room is going to be champion belt, and we're not going to take champion belt, so I'm not super keen on finding it. We do get another tears up here, that bone heart upgrade, divorce papers, and yep, that is certainly an item. Hey, we didn't get a curse, so we got hemoptysis which is the sneeze that you get. Uh, I'm also going to get us down to at least the Dark Prince's crown range, uh, just so we can get a little bit of extra damage and tears here. And again, I'm not too keen on really going out, my, out of my way to go try to find the item room because we know that we're not going to use it anyway. I really want to pick up that heart here, so let's be careful on that. You want to keep enough for an HP upgrade, well... It's going to heal us anyway. I do want to keep enough at least for one premium item in the shop if we can find it. Um, but that's the nice thing about Dream 
about Dreamcatcher is that you don't have to worry about really going out of your way to get item item rooms if like they're just going to be a substandard item. And the sneeze, while it is like okay for keeping stuff away from you, it's especially if you have brimstone, it's not it's not like a make or break type thing. Now I would love to see a five room here. That would be pretty nice. We can get this in this dice room. Get ourselves one of our keys back. It is a five room. Okay, so we have multiple chances here to get uh, boss rush. So let's go try to get to mom first. Uh, I am going to... Well, we got to do it now. Because we won't be able to get back in here without being on a 1 HP, which I'm not going to do. Teleport. Hooking us up here with blue cap. Okay. Monstro just pinned us in the corner there. That was pretty fun. Got red monster two and green bloat. Wow, that is that is something here. Lost trap room. Is it me or like were they were they both like supercharged? Or am I am I just imagining that? I feel like both of them were just moving and attacking a lot faster than usual. We'll take restock just for S's and G's here, but. The main thing that we're looking for right now is just to find the boss room, teleport out, and I am going to grab this fool card just in case if teleport doesn't take us out of the boss room for whatever reason. And uh, look at this. We do find mom and the tinted rock here. All right. So if we can hurry, if we can hurry, and we have plenty of time here, we can get two boss rushes in one run, which is real nice. Potential good value. Now, I don't want to say it's great value because obviously we have no idea what we're going to be getting from the boss rush and boss rushes tend to be kind of duds sometimes, but we might be able to get hooked up here. Let's find out. I'll start with the devil deal or start with the negative no devil deal and I am going to take lead pencil teleport out. We go back to the start. Wow. Yeah, and uh, I think we just do it again. We'll take it. So apparently the game is just just obsessed with giving us active items in our uh, item rooms right now. Other than Hemoptysis. There's Demon Judgment here to get down to Dark Prince's Crown. Never mind. We do get a much needed, thank God, much needed... Uh, Movement speed upgrade. Even after getting Roid Rage, our movement speed is still 1.17. That's how bad it was. Now, it's an interesting little unwritten phenomenon in Isaac, if you don't know, is when you get a five room, it tends to duplicate itself on the next, unlike the reroll of the floor. So I would not be surprised if we found another five room, and that would be even more epic if we could. Uh, but again, right now, we're just looking for... The boss room. We know that we don't care about the item room. So, again, that saves us time. Definite sack room shuffle potential here. But right now, again, we're just looking for them. Looking for the mom fight. See if we can get even more value out of this uh, five room. I have a feeling we're going the right way. So, I'm not going to bother using teleport right now. And that looks like a circle. So, never mind. Kind of impressive we have we have such a great tears rate despite us having quad shot. Shot speed is right back down in the dumps, of course, thanks to blue cap, but it was worth it for the tears upgrade. That was one very disconnected Isaac circle. So we have not gone the right way. Take that back. We get a, a world card. I'm just going to use that right now. Um, yeah, let's go back up that way. So plenty of time. There's no real rush here. Golden bomb. Okay. The tinted skull. Yeah, so we know, thanks to thanks to that world card, we know that there's not a dice room here. We also know that there's absolutely Jack Taco in the shop. 
So we'll just put everything back in here and yeah, you, you know, we've been we've been dinging the donation machine a little bit lately, so I'm fine with putting some stuff back in. We're still over eight dollars, of course, but all right. Second mom fight here in as many minutes. And getting a second boss rush, even the chance of getting a second boss rush is just nice. It's a nice little goal to have. There's no real achievement or anything built into that. But it is just a nice little, like, hey, if you can get two boss rushes in a run, you know you're doing something right. And I guess I'll take x-ray specs. I didn't want to use the full card there because I didn't want to get taken all the way to the beginning. There's no real point. Um... And yeah, again, save this time. First the unknown. Man, we getting we're just getting all kinds of curses here. Okay, so what's the plan now? When you find yourself in this sort of like dominant position in Isaac, do you go for damage? Do you go for you know what do you what are you really looking for here? Well, assuming if, you, if you're not having to unlock anything in the game, you want to try to just get your run better, obviously. You do that by hoping that you get, like, you know, a good devil deal, making smart decisions with judgments, maybe re-rolls if you're lucky to have enough, uh, or a, a D6 or something like that. There's always ways you can improve your run in Isaac without really trying to break the game or getting too outlandish with your hopes and dreams. Um... What I'm trying to say is, like, you don't have to aim low, but you should be aiming high. Whenever, again, going back to the old adage, win ahead, get more ahead. And this is exactly what we're talking about here. We want to try to take the advantages that we have now, which is going to be our DPS, and turn them into even greater advantages to where the game just absolutely cannot catch up to us. And slam the door shut with a, with a nice little dub. That usually is going to come in the form of a good devil deal, maybe a good boss rush, uh, or uh, maybe a good, uh, a good uh, boss item. Again, it all basically just comes down to how, how you manage your, how you manage your HP for devil deals, but also just, I mean, it's it's pure luck too as well. Okay, let's stop taking damage against like. And it's 73%. All right. And Curse of Lost. Okay. So that is three... Three Devil Deals in a row that we failed. If you want to count the two Depths 2 that we did, and then that one. And uh, I don't know if you're keeping score at home, but that's usually impossible to fail three in a row if you, as long as you haven't taken red heart damage. So, good for us. I love that for us. First of all, we have absolutely no bloody clue where we're going to be going. So, because I heard the super secret room somewhere in here, I'm going to assume that we're probably close to the boss. Or maybe, no, that was just the exit of the regular secret room. Again, no clue where I'm going. Credit card. It gives us a free devil deal, so we don't have to use our HP. Um, the credit card is actually probably more important for the dark room than anything. I'm pretty sure that we've we have only had two curseless floors, and that was both, I think, in the depths too. At least want this half heart here to try to protect our bone heart. Yeah, so that's just a dead end. We go back to the secret room. At a certain point on Curse of the Lost, especially in the later game le levels. You don't really, like, want to get trapped into just going around in a circle in a circle. There's the super secret room. So now we can probably safely assume we're on our way to the boss at this point. So I'm not going to teleport again. Fate. This is going to give us an instant HP upgrade thanks to the eternal heart. We don't need to bomb the penny-eyed keeper because we, uh... We're... Pretty much... 
not needing any money. I mean, we like we could, like if we decided to go to fight Hush or something like that, or on the victory lap, we could maybe get like a nickel, but I don't think that five cents is really going to matter a whole lot. Okay, thank you. I just want to get off of this floor, please. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to hold that credit card for the dark room devil deal. Worth it? Yeah, I mean, kind of. We already had special tiers, but at least it gives us a tiers up, and we do get some damage with the pact. Okay, teleport. We're gonna need something better than that, buddy. We need to. We need to be making quality teleports here. Okay. What we don't need you to do is take us one room away from where we started on the level. Like I could have just done that myself. You know, appreciate the the effort there, but yeah, yeah. See, remember when I was talking about like how we don't need to be going anywhere near where we started from? Yeah, we we need we need more more distance, please. Kind of kind of bummed me out here a little bit. Teleport, not gonna lie. Teleport, you gotta you gotta make up your mind here. Wh which way are we going? Are we going are we going east or are we going west? Cause I've explored over to the west. Then you take us east. Almost like equidistant from where we were going from, so Yeah. I have a feeling this is also probably not the right way to go. Could be wrong, though. Brother, come on with this. Hey, that right there is the... That's one of the reasons why you don't want slow shot speed. Shooting in the direction of that eye laser, but the shots take, you know, 30 years and a carrier pigeon to get there. You're not going to kill anything before they kill you, or at least fire at you and hit you. And we've gone wrong. All right. All right. Hey, uh, hey, bomb! You wanna, you wanna stay there? Thanks. All right. All right. So teleport. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just gonna say it right now. This one's on you. You had a, you had a chance to really be a, a, a big time player here on, on Shoal anyway, and you kind of failed miserably here. Unless you take us right to Stanley. This is a nightmare of a map. And with zero. Zero movement speed. We, uh, we're not dodging a whole lot here. And we've gone back to the start. Okay. Teleport, you're done. You're done, Unshoal. You are done. I gave you gave you plenty of chances to prove yourself, son. And you didn't take the opportunity that you, you when you were called upon. I don't know what to tell you here. But you, you have failed, failed us miserably and cost us lots of HP and time. You're, you're done. You're done on Shoal. I'll give you a chance in the dark chest, but you are done on Shoal. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go another another route here for for this one. Drop a bomb here, take care of all the bomb lamprey flies and fallen. Now, because we have such poor movement speed, I should be backing away a little bit more in between uh, these enemies, but I'm not doing that because I'm also trying to land all four shots on the same target just to kind of maximize damage. But I also, also am trying to land the lead pencil shots. 
The combination of bad movement speed and poor, and I mean, wow, that, that foot came down super fast. And also really poor shot speed is, uh, giving us problems. And, uh, also taking just more and more damage is, uh, yeah. If we get some movement speed, that'd be a great game. So, let's see if holding on there, there's some movement speed. Credit card. I almost don't want to take um, Death's Touch, but I will, for the, I will for the piercing shots. Void. Yeah, we can take Void. The Void is going to absorb uh, Teleport and Book of the Dead now. Oh, okay. So at the very least with void, we are going to teleport as soon as we as soon as we absorb something, but we'll still gain the the stat ups uh, that we that we are wanting here from passive items that we don't want. Active items obviously will be absorbed by void. There are certain occasions where you wouldn't want to void teleport. But this is not one of them. E Bizzle here. Book of the Dead didn't go off in that last room because obviously we uh, we didn't kill anything. So that's touch giving us the piercing shots is very very nice with quad shot uh, and um, and parasite. Let's see what D Bizzle has cooked up for us. Okay, it's two spiders, D Bizzle. One soul heart. Wow. Yeah. I guess the uh, I guess the team players just don't feel like playing today. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it gives us much needed shot speed, so it's so it's fine. Um, use the hermit card, and I think that the hermit card has already done a better job at teleport than. Yep. And the last two teleports. What is that? Insanity there. Okay. Monster got caught in the tidal web or something here. Tidal web? Tidal wave. That's some, that some ultra premium physics right there. Got the DLC pack in this one. You see it like our damage is just not it's not super great. It looks like we have tiny planet with my reflection. It really does. It's kind of this is kind of crazy. It's looking like an art project in here. Yeah, we'll do a quick victory lap. Why not? Second seed, seven Sierra, three, two, three, seven, nine, Victor. So we know that there is not anything we care about in the item room. It was number two, but with void now, we can at least go into the, into the, uh, the item room and, and well, turn something out of nothing, basically. They may have noticed that it didn't count as actually walking into the item room there. And uh, that means that we are going to get credit for possibly getting a planetarium. Maybe. Double soul heart payout there. I like it. We have restock as well. So if we needed to get more soul hearts, we could. Might as well pick up deep pockets. No reason not to. There's an emperor card, or empress card here, I should say. Oh, God. What is this going to look like? Yeah, it's kind of wacky. 
Ooh. Okay. So broken remote's going to activate every single time that we that we use our space for item. Now, if we end up getting something like, say, magic fingers, or something that is an insta-use uh, active item, we can theoretically teleport around as much as we want to. IV bag is another one. So that was that was broken remote there. That was not teleport. The animation for broken remote is slightly faster. We're going to take Bozo. It gives us a slight, and I mean very slight damage upgrade, but is what it is. Also gives us a soul heart, of course. Mom's Kizzle. We'll take that. Uh, we don't really need Piggy Bank. e Bizzle hooking us up with one soul heart. Oh, <laughs> Well, if we were if we were caring about uh, about holding on to void for stats, we don't have to worry about that any longer. We get binge eater. We take we just take Steven here. No reason to take binge eater. And yeah, there's no reason for us to take Spirit of the Night. We already have it, but we we, we can take binge eater though, which basically just turns it turns three soul hearts into a permanent stat upgrade. It does kill our movement speed, obviously, but I don't think we care about that. Correction, we don't care about that anymore. We are we are beyond the point of having to worry about our, our movement speed affecting our HP. We know there's a little haunt in there, but we don't have a full charge and void. Which is really the only downside of using um, using Void just to teleport around is that we're just never going to have a full charge for an item room unless we use it inside of the item room. A little clot. Yeah, we can take a little clot. Binge Eater. A Binge Eater will help us out with the shot speed problem. Do not want Ivy Colt. You want dessert? The shot speed problem will no longer be a problem with Binge Eater. You can, as you can see, it's it's already getting wacky, wacky, kooky, crazy in here. <laughs> okay. Backstabber is just going to take take this to a totally different level. I didn't see what was in our item room, and it doesn't matter because we have a, a Binge Eater. Yeah, this is now we're we're starting to look at like a like a stabbing I don't know what you can call this build. Uh we could get steam sale here, might as well. Not really in the market for anything out of the shop. Uh we can at least look inside of the ma boss trap room. We get range or we could uh binge eater. Or at least teleport out. Because that way we still get stats and we don't have to be in there. More shot speed here. Yeah, this is... This is a straight-up swarm of damage. So there's the entire map, everybody. Looks like a... Looks like a javelin... Olympian about to throw a javelin, but they forgot to... They forgot to grab the javelin, so it's just kind of like doing the pose of about to throw. You see it. Uh, yeah, Ben Jeter. Lots of hearts over there for D-Bizzle. He doesn't need them. He's been eating too much. Takes more Ben Jeter here, and, uh, yeah. Use the Shadow is great, but Ben Jeter. And Ben Jeter. I mean, it's just... It's just too good not to have. Okay, we can teleport out of the curse room here. Yeah, 
Yeah, anything that steps into this swarm of of parasite shots is instantly just going to get destroyed at the very least by backstabber at the very most by all of our damage just flying around everywhere. I think that was headless baby, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, this looks like we've got some like kind of like ninjutsu like Naruto power right now with this build. This is kind of nuts. Take the full charge here just in case we get to uh boss rush. Okay, well. Go back and try it again. We got we got plenty of money, so we can keep doing this game. Yeah, but like if you could stop taking the secret room, that'd be great. It's That's some spike movement, I tell you what. Full card. I don't think we need to really worry about the boss rush at this point. What was Headless Baby? Good luck upgrade over there. Oh my gosh. The multiple... The multiple dealings of... Uh, of damage here. Maggie's bow is pretty good, but uh, binge eater. I'm gonna sit here and do this. Let's just see what happens. I'm trying to place a bomb so I can get rid of these rocks here, but I guess it doesn't really matter because we've got uh, we've got spectral tears. is a swarm of angry of angry super balls around us and we'll take Ben Jeter appreciate deep as well I don't think I don't think we need it though now what I really want to see is I really want to see what happens to old hushy there you go. See, teleport, that's all you gotta do. All right, you, you deliver the goods every now and then, we're, we're gonna be just fine. Take a binge eater, and I will take a binge eater. You're gonna put us to almost full health. I've simply binge eater. And uh, you know what, I will take a binge eater, thank you. Now it is kind of funny that we still have Clotty with us, our little clot. Young Claudie, favorite rapper. Next to Young Mythos. Yeah, this is this is going to be this is going to be a slaughter. Like old Hushy, old Hushy has no idea what's about to hit him. Take a binge eater. Our movement speed is already back down to doo doo levels, but not sure if you've seen our damage or not, but it's pretty good. And I will take a binge eater. Okay. Yep. 
The baby's somewhere over there. There he is. He's having, he's having a little navigational issues right now. All right, I understand. Think those are the flies? All right. There goes old Hushy. Suffice to say, old Hushy didn't make it. I do find it kind of great that we can just hit the entire room without really moving. Which is good because our movement speed is is horrible thanks to Binge Eater. Oh my gosh, everything everything's instantly dying at this point now, except for the Mega Champions. Yep, there's one dead Isaac. We should try to get a heal here, but oh wait, don't worry, because as long as we have an item pedestal, we can heal. See, look at that. Uh, I'm going to take cancer here just in, I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what just in case of, but oh my gosh. Yeah. Teleport. Yeah. See, this is the, this is the game when it's like, all right, just get this run over with. We don't want any more qualms with you. Well, you're going to have to take one more qualm here, game. You're just going to have to slow your roll for just a second because we are still going to take one more slight qualm with you. Now, in all the rooms that you could have taken us back in, teleport, you took us back into a room that we'd already been in. You've been doing so well. You've done well in two floors in a row now. about to get tagged by that uh, soul sucker. Take Minji here. Go ahead and just heal us. This little heal real quick. And I'll take a binge eater. All right. So there's the entire top half of the map, I think. Now, this is a this is a what I would consider to be a multiple application build. Because we have multiple instances of insanely powerful tier effects that are just going uh, just applying over and over and over again or the game can really even have a chance of like knowing what's going on also that did not that did not look like the shovel when i first saw it i think some kind of mapping would definitely be nice I don't think this is delirium. Not. Well, demon baby, you you got picked up by by proxy here. Isaac didn't didn't have too much fun there. It's kind of the reason why I didn't want to teleport is because I didn't want to go all the way all the way back. But even then, I still feel like that this is not going to be the right right path to delirium. If it is, I'll be a little bit a little bit surprised. I'll take a binge eater. This feels like the right way over here. And no, it's not because this is the only side we haven't been to yet. This just feels like the right way. 
<laughs> just, just trying to keep your eyes focused on one on one of the shots is just impossible. So good luck to Delirium. Um, get ready to see some mega clown physics here. There we go. Oh wow, yeah, that was a uh, that was a whirlwind of death right there. I gotta say, Parasite, you did great. Teleport, we need a little bit more from you, but you know what? You you saved us some time there. And D Bizzle, you 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 sure you sure were. So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a great start to your midweek here in the Mosh Pit. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button, the thumbs up one that's located right below the video, right above the video description. Of course, you want to support my channel. It's totally free of charge and only takes less than a second to do. And that's the easiest way to support myself here on YouTube. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing for those of you who do each and every day. As always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Emil Caban, Jade Fright, and Christopher Watson. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com. Slash Invicta. 